You're listening to The Archer's Omnibus from BBC Radio 4. She can't wait. She keeps saying she'll be fine once she's back in her own home. Well... I guess if this care package works out, yeah, but she'll have plenty of support. And they wouldn't let her home if they didn't think she could manage. But it's going to be a long time before she's properly independent. At the moment, she can hardly walk across the room. Well, I know, but let's see how she gets on once she's back home. You know Heather, she might just surprise us. Maybe. And while you're there, you could sound her out about moving south. You make it sound so simple. Well... No, it's a hard thing for her to think about. And I know exactly what she'll say. Yeah, but you need to ask, though, don't you? Yeah, I will. When I find the right time. Fair enough. So how's things with you? Oh, fine. Yeah, 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 no problems. What about those paddocks? Uh, yeah, Eddie and I had a look at them yesterday. Have they dried up at all? Ruth, love, leave that to me. I'll sort the paddocks out. You look after Heather. Put my tie down somewhere. Hmm? Mm. Ah, right, no, got it. <laughs> now I'm back being the face of Grey Gables. Can't go up there looking like a scruff. I know it must be weird for you. No, it's not. Not really. Quite enjoy it. At least it's a job. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing yet from either of the agencies about nanny and work. Well, it's only been a few days. Have to give a bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> and meanwhile, I've still got to go into Lower Loxley every day. Yeah. Now, I know it's not easy for you, love. No, it's not. No. Well, I got Linda to deal with. <laughs> Have you? Mum? In here, sweetheart. Mum, I've been talking to Abby and... Oh. What's up? Thought you'd gone to work. I'm just on my way. So don't let me hold you up then. OK. Uh, see you later. Mm. Won't be late. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, Phoebes. Right. That's enough emails. Are you OK? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? You've been looking a bit stressed out. No. I'm fine, really. <laughs> Is uh, Abby... She was asking about the Flower and Podgy show. Oh. It's today, isn't it? She's really keen to go. We both are. OK, then. Are you going to take her? Yes. But aren't you coming too? Oh, I don't know, love. Oh, come on. Uh, I've got things to do here. They can wait, can't they? And now Dad's gone to work, we can go out and have some fun time. Just the three of us. You definitely made the right call, David. You can see what the ground's like here. Yeah, soggy bottom. <laughs> now if we leave the cows on, it'll poach in no time. Come on, you lot, let's be having you. So there's nothing else for it, even if it means bringing them in a week or two early. Eating up your silage. Yeah, and the mixed rations. Ah, the oh, thanks to that storm, eh? Well... Poor old Clary. Her hydrangeas took a real battery. Yeah. She was hoping for a prize this year. She? So to put in some Michaelmas daisies instead. Oh. Uh, are you going along? What, to the show? Uh, yeah, I might put my head in later. Still, that's Mother Nature for you. Yeah, but... That's it. Come on. I'm surprised all the same. <laughs> you haven't seen Clary's hydrangeas. No, I mean the paddocks. Oh. They'd have usually recovered by now, even after all that rain. Well, you reckon? Well, in other years. They've never been as bad as this, and it's still only September. Mm, like I said, Mother Nature. Maybe. This lot will keep the grass down for you, any road, without messing it up. <laughs> Woolly lawn mowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Though, uh, there's one way you could stop this happening again. How's that, Eddie? Well, you could keep all your cows indoors like Rob Titchener. <laughs> what? I was only kidding. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, look. That is just so cool. <laughs> yeah. Knitted flowers. How did she do that? I don't know. They look like real ones. Yeah, they do, don't they, Abby? <laughs> My Auntie Lillian, you wouldn't think she had the time, would you? No. All the patience. All those stitches, darling, it's so tedious. <laughs> Well, there have been so many lovely things here. Must have been hard to choose a winner. Yeah, it's all great, isn't it? Aren't you glad I made you come? <sighs> all right. Yes, I am. So, shall we go and see the real flowers? Oh, all right. I'm not done here yet. I wonder who made that cushion cover. I went to see the flowers. Well, good afternoon. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Abby. Hello. You've brought your mummy and big sister along? Yes. Hi. That's nice. We would. Just... So, what about Auntie Lillian's knitted flowers? Oh, yes. I didn't know she was so good with her hands. Neither did I until recently. It's been quite a revelation. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it can almost be a professional job. You know, that's exactly what I thought when I saw it. Anyway. Yeah, so nice to see you, Linda. Oh, We're Hayley, going... I'm sorry Roy's had to work this afternoon. Oh, I'm well. afraid it was all too short notice for me to swap the rotor, but he did say he didn't mind. Yeah? And, of course, it's wonderful to have him back at reception. Just like old times. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, this uh, Roy you're talking about? Yes, hello, Eddie. Hello. Hiya. Is it true he's left Lower Loxley and he's back at Grey Gables? Oh, that's right. Well, yeah. I still don't quite understand why he left so suddenly. Yeah. So what's the story there, Hayley? Well... He's not said much about it, of course, and I haven't liked to pry. No, but he... Well, after Loxfest, he felt like he'd done his time there, you know, ready for a change. Yes another challenge? So he's just filling in time at Grey Gables while he looks for something else. Oh, I see. Oh, Mama, look, my great grandson. But if he's just filling in time, couldn't he have done that at Lair Loxley? Uh, no. Uh, sorry to butt in at the... Mum, can we catch her before she goes? Oh, yeah, we must do that. <laughs> right, come on then, Abby. Bye, Linda. Eddie. Bye. Nice to see you. Bye. A change? Yes. We all thought he was doing so well at Lower Loxley. Yeah. I hate to say this, but uh, there's some wicked rumours going round. Oh. Well... Whatever it is, I shan't pass it on. Susan reckons there's more to it. She reckons Roy was caught with his hand in the till, fiddling the accounts. No. No, not Roy, sure. Of course, I don't believe a word of it myself. Just a load of rubbish. Yes. Yes, I'm sure that's all he... Um... Oh, it's Pat. Do you mind if I... No, no, you go on. Pat, hello. What? Oh. Oh, no. I don't believe it. They're actually some of Dad's old roses from Glebe Cottage. Oh. <laughs> but it was Carol who entered them. Carol? Yeah, Carol Tregoran, Mum's new tenant. Oh, yeah. And they've won a first. Oh, that's a bit hard on your mum, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think she was OK about it. Aww. You know, she and Carol, they go way back. Yeah, of course. And now Carol's really keen to get back into village life, so... <laughs> Can't say I'm not surprised. Well, I think oh, it's um, I'd better go and okay, find Hayley. the girls. Right. David! David! Hi, Linda. Have you heard about this? Uh, BL's latest planning application. Pat's just found out from her mole on the council. So... They have reapplied for an even bigger AD unit. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that was on the cards. Yeah, half of the course, I no, reckon. But that's just a half of it. To get round the access problems, they want to build a huge concrete trackway right across the fields. Oh, and you still haven't heard the worst. They've also applied for a 25-acre solar farm. 25 acres? Isn't it appalling? Imagine the view, looking out over hundreds and hundreds of solar oh, panels. Justin Elliott, he just can't get enough, can oh, he? He's a ruthless, scheming, cynical money-grabber. He's got to be stopped. I must get busy. The Save campaign needs to hear about this. There you are. Is Abby all right? Yeah, she's fine. So, where? Over there with George and Jake. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, Emma was just telling me about her trip to France with Fallon. She can't wait. This is nice, isn't it? I always love the band. Don't you? Mum, 
Oh, okay, I know, I'm just a sad old woman. <laughs> Do you want to go somewhere else if you're not enjoying it? I'm fine. We could go back in and look at the cakes. Do you know they'll be auctioned off later? Might buy a fruit one. Be a nice surprise for your dad. He always likes a cake? You want to buy him a cake? Well, it's a shame you can't be here. You know how much... I'm going like. to talk to Josh. I'll see you later. from Linda. BL's put in for some new plans. Oh, what, has she been tweeting already? It sounds terrible, David. A concrete track. Yeah. And a massive solar farm. Well, 25 acres. Big enough. Sounds like he's turning the Hall Estate into a power generating plant. Yeah, I know what you mean. With I... industrial crops to feed his Wapen new AD unit. There won't be any grass left at all. Yeah, look, I'm sorry that Linda tweeted. You've got quite enough on your plate. I'm glad she did. I want to know what's going on. Well, these are only plans, remember? It doesn't necessarily mean they'll happen. <laughs> you know Justin Elliott. If he doesn't get them through this time, he'll just keep on trying until he does. Well... Come on. I'm right, aren't I? He's got all the money and the power and the connections on his side. And what have we got? Linda Snell? OK. Plus, a whole community full of angry, determined and resourceful people. Yeah, but is that enough, David? Who's going to win in the end? There she is. Oh, yes. Baby, we've been looking for you. Oh, <laughs> well, you found me now, didn't you? I was about to give you a call. Me and Abby are heading home. OK. You come in. Uh, Josh is with some friends. I might go and hang out with them for a while. It's fine. What about later? I don't know. Only it's Ed's birthday, his 30th. Susan's asked us round for tea. Oh, right. Just to wish him happy birthday. We needn't stay for long. So who's we? All of us. I texted your dad. He's coming too. So do you want to come? Yes, come with us. No. <laughs> No, I, I don't think so. Oh. Why not? Because... Because what? I just don't feel like it. I want to be on my own. There. Half a dozen eggs and a pot of this year's honey. Oh, Mum. Well, I had a good crop, so... <laughs> That's so kind of you. Oh, lovely brown eggs. I would have bought you a dozen, but they're starting to go off lay. No, that's perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for bringing them over. I won't stay. I expect you're still busy. No. No, I, uh, I wasn't getting much done. Just faffing around. Oh. Well, I hadn't forgotten what day it is. Your wedding anniversary. That's really why I came over. Thanks, Mum. It... Uh... It's good of you to remember. Well, I know it doesn't get much easier. No. And things... Well, it's all been a bit difficult, you know, Roy deciding to leave. I'm sure it has. I'm managing, but... At times like this, I really do miss Nigel. Of course you do. Though you weren't the only one to remember. Lily's done me a card. Has she? Yes. Um, sit down and I'll show you. So, you're all done here? Yep. Yeah, just about to head on up to the next field. Nothing I can do for you? Well, it could always be drier, of course. <laughs> Wish I could help you there. Well, not quite as bad as last week, but... Hey! Hey, watch out! That was a close one. Adam? Oh, uh, Carol. Hello. You two boys having fun there? Uh, Making mud pies? I'm sorry about the mess. Yes. I know you need to get your crops in. Uh, yes, I'm afraid do we do. I wish you'd clean up after yourselves. One of us was lucky not to get killed. Uh, you can see we're doing our best, but it's not All easy. All right. I'll let you off this time. But do take care, won't you? Bye. Bye. <sighs> OK. Friend of yours? We've met. I suggest she drives a bit slower at her age. I'm not sure if age has much to do with it. I thought you handled it well. Really? Yeah. Every inch the diplomat. <laughs> well, it's all true. We're doing everything we can. It's been up and down all morning with a brush and scraper. I know. But with the soil as sticky as this, there's not much... Hey, hey, you don't have to convince me. 
You're doing a great job here. I'm on your side, Adam. It may not feel like that to you, but... Well, that's good to know. So, um, let's try not to forget it, hmm? Okay. Um, I'd better move the forager onto the next field. Oh, Adam, hold on. I know you've been going all day. I don't want you wearing yourself out. No, 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 I'm fine. Come on, I'm sure you could do with a break. Well, I need to get a few more acres done first. So why not let me have a go? Are you serious? Yeah, sure, Adam. Oh, it's the lake, isn't it? And the island. Beautifully drawn. Yes, it is. All that detail. She's turning into quite an artist. Yes. It was one of Nigel's favourite views. Oh. She doesn't actually say it's about the anniversary, but... You can see it's what she meant. Oh, oh darling. No, I'm OK, Mum. Oh, there's been a lot going on. I'd, I just wish I had a bit of time to sort my life out. How's Geraldine coping? Oh, she's perfectly fine. Well, if she's having to step straight into Roy's shoes... Look, perhaps you ought to know. There have been one or two rather nasty rumours. What? What kind of rumours? Well, I'm sure it's a lot of nonsense, but... <sighs> something to do with money. Money? That he'd been fiddling the books or something. Oh. I mean, I don't believe a word, but... No! No, it's all completely untrue. It was nothing like that. I'm very glad to hear it. I can't imagine where that came from. Roy's the last person who... Oh, wait, I'll, I'll put it on to answer first. No, I should be on my way. I'm going to pop in on Carol. Oh, gosh, yeah, that reminds me. What, love? Oh, she's asked me around for a drink on Thursday night. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. Mum, thanks so much for coming <laughs> round. Just you take care. Yeah. And uh, if, if you hear any more silly rumours, just ignore them, won't you? Well, I saw Jill's old Montana Clematis had died, so, so I thought a new one would be the, the perfect housewarming gift. It's... Very well chosen. Oh, good. <laughs> plants are always a, a bit of a risk, but I thought I'd be safe with this one. Well, as it happens, I do have plans for the garden. Oh, well, that sounds exciting. So thank you, Jennifer. Are you sure you won't come in? Oh, I'm, uh, well, I'd love to, but no, really, I, I, I can't. I'm in a bit of a rush. All right. Another time, then? Yes, yes, and, uh, and you must come up to us. Well, as for me, I, I'm free pretty much any time. Oh, <laughs> Another visitor. Good evening. Hello. Jill, how lovely to see you. Right, then I'll be on my way. Oh, uh, Jennifer, uh, mm -hmm. did the books arrive safely? Oh, uh, yes. Anna said she'd drop them off. Yes, yes, safe and sound. Good. John was obviously very keen for you to have them. Books? Yes, uh, John left me some of his book collection. Oh. Yes, well... Such a nice thought. Mm. I wasn't expecting it at all. I wasn't expecting anything. Well, a nice little memento for you. Yes. Well, uh, uh, good night. Night. Bye, Jenny. His book collection? Yes. <laughs> well, just between you and me, John's will had a few little surprises. Really? Apart from those books and one or two rather odd bequests, he's left everything else to the kids. No. Yes. Lock, stock and barrel. Nothing to you? Well, I suppose John and I had settled our accounts some time ago. And, let's say, he wasn't quite himself towards the end. Who? Oh. Now, come and have a drink. I would have asked your advice about the garden. Oh! Oh, it's you! Aren't you out with the forage harvester? I was, yes. But you thought you'd come and help yourself from my fridge. I knew you wouldn't mind. <laughs> of course not, darling. Um, what about this cold chicken? Uh, oh, yes. Take as much as you like. Oh, right. So, if it wasn't you I saw out on the tractor, who was it? Charlie Thomas. 
Oh, you mean he's actually doing some proper work for once? He offered to do a stint, so I said yes. <laughs> Very big of him, I'm sure. Um, and here you are, working so hard, you're practically sleepwalking. Not quite as bad as that, Mum. <laughs> Charlie doesn't seem to do an awful lot apart from swanning around in that car, dishing out orders. Mm. And I'm sure you've heard all about Justin Elliott's planning application. I heard a rumour. Yeah, well, I expect Charlie's been telling you how this new AD unit will stop global warming and how the concrete trackway will enhance the landscape. Mum. Yeah, not to mention the 25-acre solar park. We've not actually discussed the new plans. No, well, if I know Charlie, I'm sure he'll stick to the party line and, and meanwhile he's still keeping you waiting about the contract renewal. Mm. You know, you should take this chance to try and get a straight answer out of him. Not really his decision, it's Justin's. Well, technically, perhaps. Mum. But I'm sure if Charlie says he doesn't want us... Mum, Mum, so perhaps he's not my favourite person in the world, but he's got a job to do like everyone else. You can't blame everything on Charlie Thomas. It must have been a struggle for you to keep up the garden. Well, I've done my best, with help from the family, but it really needs some proper care and attention. Well, I was coming to that. I'd love to take it in hand myself. Gosh, well... well how would you feel about that? I'd be delighted. It's yours now, and it is what it needs. Good. There are some things I'd like to keep, of course, and anything you're especially fond of. Well... Apart from some of the roses. I'd want to spend some time and plan it out carefully. Yes. Though I think that's going to be the easy bit. Well, the other thing I wanted to ask you, do you know anyone who might be able to help me with the heavy work? Ah, yes. Someone with experience, retired perhaps, who'd come in a few hours a week. I think I know just the person. Oh, we're doing well. Eating it up. Great. Maybe not quite up to your speed, perhaps, but... Oh, thanks anyway. I really appreciate it. I could do another half hour, if you like. No, 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 that's kind. Well, it's a serious offer. I'm on a bit of a roll here. <laughs> thanks. But I might as well take over now I'm back. OK, then. Um, Adam, before you start, I need some advice. Oh, about? Your Harvest Festival coming up. Am I right in thinking that when it's over, they're going to give away the produce around the parish to help the poor and needy? Yes, that's right. Well, my thought was... If BL was to contribute in some way, it might help counter all the suspicion about the new planning application. <laughs> well, it might. Or not. Uh, I think it's going to take more than a sheaf of corn or a few sugar beet. <laughs> Point taken. If you're really hoping to persuade people that Justin's not an evil genie who's out to desecrate the landscape for miles around. Evil genie? Ask my mum about it. Well, she does realise it was going to be 50 acres until he scaled it down. <laughs> Oh, so it was purely an act of kindness? Oh. <laughs> and nothing to do with the new planning guidelines favouring smaller installations? <laughs> well, Justin's nothing if not pragmatic. Yes, I know he's used to getting what he wants and not having to wait around for it. I guess. Though there's nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Well, I guess, for me, some of the best things are the ones worth waiting for. Really? Hmm. And sometimes. But well, sometimes it's better not to rush things. Just leave it to chance. See what happens. Uh, yes. OK, then. Well, if you're all fixed here, I'll be around soon. Bye. Bye. I'll mention it to Bert when I see him tomorrow, but I'm sure he'll be delighted to come and help you out. If you really think he's up to it. Oh, yes. He's surprisingly fit for his age. Thank you, Jill. Not that he's old. Hmm. I'm still getting used to how quiet it is out here after dark. It is now. Who knows what it'll be like in a few years' time. Are you really that pessimistic? Well, if all these plans go ahead, I feel as if I'll hardly recognise Ambridge, all the places I know and love so well. Oh. I expect you feel the same. Yes. I remember it as it was oh, 40, 50 years ago. Of course you do. But then, at my time of life, I do wonder whether it's sensible to spend lots of precious time and energy fighting these changes. Oh? Well, well, perhaps it's better just to try and live with them, accept them as gracefully as one can. I'm not sure if I could do that, Carol. 
I think I'd rather go down fighting. Keeping you awake, is it, old fella? Yes. I know. Itchy, itchy. Here. Now, let me put some more of this on. No. No, come on, come on. It's just your lotion to make it feel better. Right. There. <laughs> Good boy. Nice and cool, isn't it? And the other arm. That's it. Well done. Now, how's that feeling now? I'm thirsty. <laughs> All right. Rob? Now, now, you settle down. I'll get you a drink. All right. How is he? Oh, much the same. A bit restless. Oh, you shouldn't be up. You should have let me do it. Well, I was awake anyway, so... Well, I'll take over now. Let me do his drink. No, 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 no. I'll get it. You go back to bed. And this one? No, wait, hold on. You need to tip that wee bit of gun coat first. Uh... You see doing in the corner there? Oh, uh, yeah, I got it. They might just be pigs to you, Johnny, but they've got standards. I know you're eating for a mucky trough. Okay. How's that? Aye, that smell like it. They don't teach you that at the college. A jazz Hygiene. If it was doing to me, I'd make it lesson number one. Uh, last week was just an assessment. But didn't I tell you? Aye, well... I start my first day tomorrow. Back at school then, eh? Uh, Sharpen well, up your wee pencil. Well, I... <laughs> oh, well. That's what peels your banana. Do to me? I'd sooner be outside in the fresh air doing some real work. Yeah, me too. And there's a lot of practical stuff on the course. I mean, there's got to be some theory and I'll have exams to do. Oh, well, you have no need to worry, will you? Even if you fail them all. <laughs> Not worry. Yeah. No, you have a, you sell a job here for life, whatever. Uh, well... It's I... a fact. You're one of the family. You've done all right so far, haven't you? Walking straight in here, starting to get a proper wage. We know so much as a day's real experience. I'm here to learn, aren't I? That's what it's all about. Uh, maybe. Some of us, we had to do it the hard way. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, Gran. You come and give us a hand. Sorry, no time for that. Hmm. Uh, Johnny, I'm going to the shop. Is there anything you need? Uh, no, thanks. All right. Oh, and the other thing. I've been talking to Tony, and we thought your room could use some redecorating. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Smarten it up a bit for you. Wouldn't take long. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, up to you, of course. But... Yeah. Yeah, OK. Ah, have a think. We can talk about it later. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Gwen. Bye, then. Bye. Right, Johnny, we're all done here. Uh, I'm away from my dinner. Uh, yeah, um, Jazza, what about the arcs down at the bottom? Aye. Well, they're a bit mucky, aren't they? I mean, they look pretty gross to me. But they need some fresh straw. Oh, don't worry your wee heat about the arcs. Uh, really? They can wait. I'll see you them tomorrow. The shop was a bit low on ice lollies. That's the best I could do. Oh, thanks, Mum. That's great. Well, poor boy. He's even got spots inside his mouth. Oh, I know, oh. I know. Well, Emma said the lollies really help with George's chicken pox, so... Give it a try. Yep. Though he's still sleeping now, so I won't disturb him. Did you get much sleep last night? On and off. Though I'd have had far less if it wasn't for Rob. Really? Yeah, oh, he's been such a star, Mum. He was up twice with Henry, getting him drinks, putting stuff on his spots. Oh, that's nice. And then straight off to work this morning. Oh, don't know how to cope without him. Oh, well, it won't be forever. I mean the chicken box. <laughs> You must be nearly through the worst. I do hope so. A few more days. Do you mind a tea bag? No, no, that's fine. As I said, I can't stay for long. Oh, do you know what popped into my email this morning? No? From Linda. Stand up against the countryside vandals. Make your voice heard. Oh, yeah, we had one too. This massive new solar array. Mm. She wants everyone to post an objection on the planning website. Mm, yeah. And I'm going to. Well, I suppose... Green energy. Oh, Helen. You think Justin Elliott gives a damn about the planet? 
climate change. He wants the money, a guaranteed subsidised profit. All right, Mum. And the new concrete road. It'll be half a kilometre long, a real scar on the landscape. Oh, please. I'm not up to this now. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, how's Johnny doing? Doesn't he start his course? Uh, tomorrow, yes. Mm. He's really looking forward to it. Oh, good. Oh, oh, sorry. You are suffering, aren't you? Oh, no. I'm fine, really. Though, would you mind if I made a quick phone call? No, no, you go ahead. Now Henry's asleep, I really need to talk to Tina. Tony. Oh, hi, Jezza. Can I have a wee word with you? Yeah, sure. Hold on. So, what can I do for you? I've just been back up to the pigs. Did you put fresh straw in the ox? Me? No. I've had better things to do. Johnny, I knew it. Um, which ox are we talking about exactly? The one's doing at the bottom where it's wet. Oh, so Johnny strawed them down, did he? That was good of him. No, it wasn't he. I tell him not he did it. Why, why? I've been running short and straw and Neil said to go easy on it. Well, yes. So I was going to date tomorrow. Oh, well, looks like Johnny saved you the trouble. Aye, but it's no his responsibility. It's Neil's and mine. Um, I'm sure he was only trying to help. When I need his help, I'll ask for it. Unless you've got some kind of agenda going on here. Agenda? The way I see it, there's no room for a new pigman on this farm. Unless you're planning some kind of job creation scheme. What? So who's it going to be? Me or Johnny? Look, Jazza... I need to know where I stand. If I'm getting the boot, you just come out and tell me no. Jazza, of course you're not getting the boot. No? No, you're a good pig man. We couldn't manage without you. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. So relax. We're not about to fire you. So where does that leave young Johnny? He's still a kid. He's just starting out. He, he's got a heck of a lot to learn. I'm hoping you'll be able to look after him, you know. Steer him along, show him how it's done. Aye, well, I can do that. Good. But you'll need to learn to do what he's told. Look, can we forget about the arcs? He's young, he's keen, he got carried away. Hey. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, Jazza. Didn't know you were back. You've been down to the pigs. Um, I'll see you tomorrow then, Tony, yeah? Yeah, see you, Jazza. If there's any work left for me today. <clears throat> so what's up with him? Uh, let's go and grab some tea, shall we? And uh, we need to have a talk. Ah, hey, it? hello. Hi. How's it going? Oh, you okay? How's Henry? He's back upstairs with a DVD. He's been scratching his spots again. Now, did you put on some more? Yes, I put on some more calamine. I've been putting it on all day. Hey, I'm sure it's not as bad as all that, is it? Sorry. It's been hard work. He's been grisly all afternoon, and now I can't find this invoice. Uh, which invoice? From last Friday. I think it was short. I need to check it out with Tina. Well, wouldn't it still be at the shop? No, I brought it home. Well, I think I did. Have you called Tina? Oh, I tried, but she must have been busy. Mummy! Oh, not again. It's all right. I'll look after Henry. You sit down for five minutes. But you Go just... on. No use chasing round in circles. Sit down, relax, clear your head. All right. And then if you still can't find the invoice, try Tina again. The thing about Jazza, he's been through a few rough patches in his life. Ah. He's worked hard to move himself on and get where he is. Like rough patches? Y yes, just take it from me. So that's why sometimes he's a little bit sensitive. OK, but the arcs were a mess, weren't they? No, oh, it's good of you to notice, but it might have been better to come and ask me or Neil before you did anything. Oh, well... Uh... So we don't step on Jazza's toe. OK, I'm sorry. Oh, I know it's a tricky one. It just makes for an easier life all round. Yeah, I get it. So, remember for next time, eh? Hello? Yeah, but those arcs, they'd, like, really stunk. <laughs> oh, are you having some tea? You want some? Oh, yes, please. I'll get it. Hi. Oh. Thank you, Johnny. Did you get to see Helen? How's Henry doing? Much the same. Um, I took him some ice lollies. Oh. Oh, and um, I've got something for you, Johnny. Yeah? Here. Yeah. Some colour charts. Oh, yeah. 
Where'd you get those? The DIY place on the bypass. Oh, and Jennifer gave me some from when they did her kitchen. Jennifer? You know how much she spent? Yes, Tony. The paint she used cost more than, than, than the most expensive paint you can possibly buy. We needn't use the same brand. Just to give Johnny some ideas. OK. We want to make his room as nice as we can. Yes, yes, you're right, we do. Anyway, Johnny, what do you think? Um... Well, it's, like, really good of you to offer, Gran, and I really do appreciate it. That's no trouble. Well, we should have done it years ago. But, well, thing is, I actually quite like my room the way it is. Oh? You sure? Even the silver fireplace? Yeah. I really love the fireplace. It's it's cool. <laughs> OK. And the rest of it. I kind of feel, like, comfortable with it, you know? I think my dad must have had really good taste. Yes. Yes, you're right. He did. Oh, he's much happier now. Sucking a lolly, watching his DVD. Oh, thanks, darling. So did you call Tina? Mm. You were absolutely right. The invoice was at the shop. So, mystery solved. Yep. And Tina had already found it and called the suppliers and sorted it all out. Well, that proves my theory. She's an angel in disguise. <laughs> Now, you taking her on was a real stroke of genius. Well, I'd be well and truly stuck without her now, that's for sure. Hmm, perhaps you should learn to trust her just a little bit more. Hmm? She doesn't need you looking over her shoulder all the time. The shop will still be there tomorrow. I know. You're right. Share the burden. Let other people take the strain. Well, there's no way I could have managed the last few days without you. I wish I could have done more. No. Oh, it was so sweet of you to sort out Henry in the night. And you've had to work all day. Well, we're a family. It's what dads do, isn't it? So the 14th for two nights. OK, yep, that's all done a book for you. I'll pop an email over for you now. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice day. Oh, Roy. Linda, hello. How's it going? Any problems? Uh, no, no. All been pretty quiet, really. Good. Still, I'm sure you must be looking forward to getting home. Yeah, five more minutes. Well, I just came to say... Oh. Hmm? Our new handouts for the health club. They don't seem to be moving very fast. Oh. Hardly at all, in fact. Not since I filled up the display this morning. Um, no. Don't know why. Ah, well, it's my fault. I thought I'd briefed my whole team about the new policy. Right. But perhaps I forgot to tell you. We offer each guest a handout along with their room key. Oh, oh right, I'm sorry. Oh, never mind. I'm sure you'll remember for next time. Yeah. Anyway, more importantly, I'm afraid Tanya's going to be a few minutes late for her shift. Oh, OK. But it's all right. I won't ask you to stay on. I'll cover for her myself until she gets here. Well, yeah, you sure? Well, we're just so lucky to have you back. Oh, thanks, Linda. I'd hate you to get bored and walk out tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, shan't be doing that. Good. Well, you slip off now, if you like. Yeah, great. Oh, and Roy, now you have fewer work responsibilities, perhaps you'd like to audition for this year's panto. There's going to be one, is there? Oh, yes. I haven't finalised which one exactly, but I'm getting close. And I'm sure they'll be just the role for you. And Haley too. Yeah, um, I can't make any promises, Linda. I'll have to see how it goes. Oh. Uh, bye, then. Bye. Oh, that's really good of you, Haley. Oh, it's no trouble. She's been as good as gold. Hmm. You got your little rabbit, Kira. Yes. Oh, good girl. I'll get the rest of her stuff. Has there been any more word from Emma and Fallon? Oh, not since last night. They were in this bar near uh, Boulogne. A bar? Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like they're having fun. They're busy doing a deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Kitchen chairs, tables, I don't know. Well, if they've gone all that way, they better come back with something. Yeah, you said it. That's great. Right, yeah, we're really pleased. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hiya. Hello. Hi, Ed. So, how was your shift? OK. Yeah, not so bad. And, um, Dad's got some news. Oh, Mike? Yeah, yeah, some brilliant news. <laughs> We've sold the cottage. Oh, you mean... Yeah, yeah, just had an offer for the full asking price. The 
full price. Hey. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Vicky must be so pleased. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's a young couple from Felpersham. They seem really keen. Saw it at the open day, phoned in their offer this morning. Wow. Well, congratulations. I'm really happy for you both. Daddy. Oh, yeah, OK, Kira. I'll get on my way then, Hayley. Get all right, Ed. And thanks again. Yeah. Are you welcome? Bye bye, Kira. Yeah, oh, Ed, are you milking this afternoon? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be straight down there when Susan's back. Right, I, I, I'll see you there and we can have a chat. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you. Yeah, yeah, bye. Do you want some tea, Mike? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, while I'm here, I, I've got five minutes. Ah. Really? Not for me, thanks. I'm bushed. Didn't put my feet up. Uh, trying to dig out this drain, make it a bit wider, in case it all happens again. Oh, I do hope not. Well, by the look of that sky, I think we're in for a shower. <sighs> Lindy? Never mind the weather. Guess what Floss are producing for their Christmas show? <laughs> Complete ring cycle? No, an Alan Akebourne, Season's Greetings. No. Really? Oh, yes. I've just checked their website. Well, seems an odd choice to me. Not exactly full of festive cheer. Doesn't someone try and hang themselves in the kitchen? Robert, it's a serious piece of contemporary drama. How am I ever going to match that? It's not really meant to be a competition, Lily. Oh, isn't it? Some people might disagree. Tristram Hawkshaw, for uh, one. Now, Lindy... We agreed we'd try and put last year's review behind us. Robert, if Floss are doing Akebourne and I come up with yet another Aladdin or Cinderella, it will be like serving Tristram Hawkshaw my head on a plate. I can feel him sharpening his poisoned quill already. Cinderella? After all that fuss last year about Robin Hood not being a panto? Well, I I've been reconsidering my position. A good, well-produced traditional pantomime does have its virtues, uh -huh. but that's all beside the point. Now Floss have gone and raised the bar again. I need to come up with something even better. Well, I know you've got a lot on. Go on. Uh, but I, I thought you ought to know. Um, the chap from Felpersham uh, got back to me this morning uh, about the milk round. Oh? Oh, so what did well, he Well, he definitely wants to buy it up. Yeah? Well, well done. That's, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, that's you'd a... better let me finish it. He wants the rounds, but he doesn't want your milk. What? Well, he's got his own source of bottled milk, one of the big dairies. No, Mike, no, you've got to be kidding. I did my best. I tried to talk him round, but... Why, well, I don't get it. I'm offering a top-quality product. If his customers want ordinary stuff, they can buy it from a supermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I said all that, but he, he just wasn't having it. Look, I'm sorry, Ed, I really am. <sighs> I know it's disappointing. Well, so what happens now? What, what are you going to tell him? Well, I already have. I said it was no deal. What, you've turned him down? Yeah. We told him. It's all or nothing. Yeah? <laughs> Are you about to walk away and leave you iron dry? Oh, oh thank you, Mike. No, no that's, that's good of you. I, I, I do appreciate it, but you... So, you if he doesn't want to buy us out, we'll have to find someone who does. I'm going to count to ten and then... Oh. Hi, Phoebes. Abby's in the kitchen with Mum. I thought you were out. No, I've been back an hour. So, what's up? You do know I'm trying to work. I've got an essay to write. Oh. Yeah, I was keeping it down. It's way too loud. I can still hear it upstairs. Oh, sorry. How's that? Can't you turn it off? Hey, come on. I've been working too. And what is this anyway? Why are you sitting here on your own in the dark listening to these stupid songs? Why not? Because it's just so pathetic. Like, what age are you? Fifteen? Phoebes, what is this? Well? Oh, Phoebe, I don't need this. I'm tired. It's been a long day at Grey Gables. <laughs> oh, please. Now you're making my heart bleed. Well, it's the truth. So maybe you should have thought about that before you left Lower Loxley. Before you... 
felt like a change. What? I still can't believe you do that. Walk out on your job. What's the matter? What's going on? I don't know. Ask her. Love? I've been trying to work in. Dad's been sitting here and... I'm doing nothing. So why can't you just go? Phoebe? Go on, give us all some space. What? Phoebe, there's no need for that. Well, if he won't, then I will. What? I can't work here. I'm going out. Phoebe? Phoebe? Oh, I was right about the rain. I don't think it's going to last, though. Mm. Scruff's enjoying it, wherever he's got to. No, no, we can't do Mother Goose. That was a bad idea of mine. You think? Yes. No matter how good and original the production, it's just too hackneyed. Tristram Hawkshaw would have us for breakfast. Scruff! Scruff! Oh, come on, Robert. I need some help here. Um, well, how about Sinbad the Sailor? Oh. Traditional, exciting, nice cozies. Mm. Well, it's certainly underproduced. I'm sure you could make it sophisticated and contemporary. You could almost call it a neglected masterpiece. Yeah, and some epic special effects. Ships, storms, monsters. Ah, uh, that would be the problem. Uh, it would be very hard to stage, even with our highly talented team of set designers. <laughs> I don't know. Me and Neil would give it a bash. Oh, I'm sure you would, Robert, but no. No, I'm afraid it's just not doing it for me. OK. This is my own fault. I've been too complacent. Oh, there he is. Scrap. Resting on my laurels, you see, after Robin Hood. Hey, come on, boy. I should have thought about this months ago. <laughs> Scrappy. Is there anything left of that head? You're like a straw dog, a walking haystack. Look at him, Lindy. Straw? Yes, of course. Lindy? The girl who tried to weave straw into gold, remember? Oh, you mean... Rumple stilt ah. skin. That's it. That's it, I've got it at last. Uh, oh, don't you see? It's the perfect theme for my Christmas show. So, uh, a girl who's bewitched by a hideous imp who tries to steal her baby. Yes, yes, all right. So it does have its dark side, but it's the dark overtones that give it such a contemporary resonance, Robert. We can really push the boundaries of seasonal entertainment. Well, it would definitely do that. Oh, you wait till I'm finished. Floss will be eating their hearts out. And as for Tristram Hawkshaw... Hey! Oh! Scruff, come here. Is that Phoebe Tucker? Yeah. Hey! It's all right, Look Phoebe. Just ignore him. Phoebe, are you all right? Yes. Yes, um, I'm fine. No, you're not. Well, what's the matter? Can we help? No, I'm fine. Honestly, I... I... I'm going to see my grand. Oh, right. Well, well take care, won't you? Oh, dear. Oh, she's not got far to go. Poor girl. I hope she'll be all right. OK, love. Bye. Is she OK? She's at home farm working on her essay. Oh, wow. And Jennifer's doing her a meal, so she won't be back till later. Oh. What? Well, and she didn't say what it was all about? No. And I wasn't going to ask. Well, there must have been something. Blowing up at me like that. It can't have come out of nowhere. She's been quite stressed all week. If you say so. Oh, come on. You must have noticed. No. I've hardly seen her at all. Well, not to speak to. You'll have to take my word for it, then. What, so she's been shouting at you, too? Telling you how pathetic you are? Well, uh, no. She's been fine with me. Oh, so it's just me, then, is it? Hayley, you don't think that she knows, do you? No. Well, it might explain why... No! I'm sure it's not that. Well, so what is it, then? I suppose she might have picked up some vibes, oh. but... She's been really stressed about her AS work. And I think she's upset about Mike and Vicky going. Mm. And who knows? Maybe she's got, you know, love problems of her own. <laughs> Well, I can't ask her about that. No. I'll try and have a word with her. A woman-to-woman -woman chat. Don't worry, Roy. I'll find out what the problem is. I promise. No, Adam. can't be helped. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, bye. Sir. Charlie, hi. What's the problem? Dry afternoon? I thought you'd be full steam ahead. It's Jeff. He can't make his shift. Because? His son fell off his bike. Jeff's had to take him to A&E. 
Okay. Well, what's your solution? Uh, either call it a day, or take Ed Grundy off the road brush, get him to do the hauling. And the mud in the lane? Well, it's not quite as wet as it has been. There's less mud coming off the field, so I guess we'll just have to wing it. Oh, it's quite a risk. Well, you know, after what happened on Monday, we don't want half the old biddies in Ambridge chasing after us with their sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd rather avoid that if I can. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so we'd better leave Ed on the road brush. OK, but that still leaves us with the problem. Well, Ed can clear the lane. Um, I'll do the hauling. Uh, really? Yeah. I've nothing too urgent that needs doing. Not nothing that can't wait. OK, well. And I enjoyed the last time. I'm quite getting into it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Rumpelstiltskin. She's put up a poster on the village notice board. Yeah, I saw. There's going to be auditions next week. Yeah. Are you going along, Bert? Oh, I don't know. Seems a funny choice to me. I hope it don't frighten the kiddies. <laughs> yeah, could be quite a scary Anyway, one. right now I'm off to Glebe Cottage to see Mrs Tregoran. Oh, yeah. She wants some help with her garden. Uh-huh. That's what Jill says. So I said I'd go round and have a chat. OK, then. Uh, ben was telling me about Jill's birthday tea tomorrow. Yeah, it's a bit of a surprise. I've asked um, Fallon and Emma to do the catering. Ah, so are you here. Now they're back from France. Boy, up, look who's here. Oh, yes. All the way back from Newcastle. Oh, she's sooner than I thought. Made pretty good time. Hiya. Hello, love. Good evening, Ruth. Hi. Well, I'll be off then. You two will want to catch up. Yep, see you, Bert. Do you need a hand? Oh, I'm fine. So everything all right here? Yeah, yeah. Pip's busy milking. Hey. Mm. How was the drive? Long. Oh, here, let me take that. Thanks. And how are things in Prada? Is your mum getting on all right? Oh, I'm just so tired. Let me say hello to Pip. Then I'll tell you all about it. Jill, I know, put a lot of love and care into her garden. Yeah, and Phil, too, with his roses and his, his vegetables. Yes. So, where do you want to start? Well, apart from the roses, there are a couple of shrubs I'd like to keep. The Philadelphus. Ah, oh, that put on a lovely show this year. But I, 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 I do want to clear most of the borders and replant. Perhaps extend the one here... And I thought about laying a brick path under the pergola. Oh, well. And uh, you mentioned Phil's vegetables. I'd like to grow as much of my own produce as I can, with raised beds to save my poor knees. Raised beds? Uh, and last but not least, a proper herb garden. Right. Look, there's, there's some marjoram growing here. And mm. Mm, quite a few others round the back. But I'm going to need... a bit more space. Oh? I use a lot of herbs, not just for cooking. I make my own remedies. Oh, my Frida does the same. Does she? Yeah, chamomile to help her sleep. Huh? Uh, St John's wort for when she's feeling stressed. <laughs> yes, echinacea to fight infection, witch hazel for aches and pains, plus a, a few of my own secret concoctions. Oh, secret. Well, you need to know what you're doing, of course. But if it saves a trip to my GP, well... Oh, I'll have to tell my Frida. So there is going to be quite a lot of heavy work, far more than I can take on. Yes, yeah, big job, all right. If you think you're up to it. For well, me? Oh, yes. Good. I'm only suggesting part-time, of course. One or two days a week. Ah, I can manage that. Hello? Ah, visitors. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth, I'm here. Ah, I'll be on my way, then. Thank you so much for coming, Bert. We'll talk again soon. It's been my pleasure, Mrs Tregoran. Bert, hello. Ah, evening, Elizabeth. Bye, then. Yeah, cheerio. Oh, I'm sorry I'm a little bit early. Oh, not at all. It's lovely to see you. Oh, uh, and I've brought you this, some lower Loxley wine. <gasps> oh, darling, that is so sweet of you. So, uh, welcome to Glebe Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be back. So, how's your mum doing? Well, 
when I arrived this morning, she'd managed to get to the day room all by herself. Oh, that's good. She was sitting there, chatting away to other patients. Oh, great. <sighs> Not really, David. She was absolutely exhausted afterwards. Just wanted to get back into bed and sleep. Right. She says she's fine, but she's really not. I don't know how she's going to cope when they send her home. And have they given her a date for that yet? Well, early next week, they're seeing. Right. But I don't know. Even if she does manage when she's home, with all the support, it's not going to be a long-term solution. <laughs> I'm beginning to think... What, love? Well, even when she's walking again, I'm beginning to think that she may never be the same. Not like she was before the fall. So, did you talk to her about moving down to Borsetshire? Yeah. And it's no good, David. She won't even consider it. Right. It'll be like tearing herself up by the roots. That's what she said. OK. So, what's the alternative, then? Where do we go from here? Well... Oh, I don't know. I'm really not sure. And I'm almost too tired to think about it now. No, all right. Here, come on. You need a good night's sleep. Yeah. Mm. You have been a real hero. You've done all you can for your mum. Now, try and put it up in your mind, eh? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. OK, we're done. Good. We could move on, make a start on the next field. Uh, you think it's worth it? Well... I guess it's up to you, Charlie. I'd say we call it a wrap. I'm glad you feel that, too. It's been a good day's work. You're well up to speed, in spite of all the aggravations. And with the help of your Olympic standard tractor driving skills. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for gold in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again, anyway. Um, are you in a big hurry to get home? Uh, not especially. OK. I think we've earned ourselves some time out. And as it happens, I've got a few beers stashed in the cab. Oh. Well, yeah. That'd be nice. Great. Um, so, be my guest. Mm, yes. Even better on the second glass. You think? Oh, I could go on about hints of citrus and bracing acidity, but uh, I'd rather just enjoy the wine. I'm sorry to be such dull company. No, you've got to drive. And you've been working all day. Yes, I, I'm quite tired. Elizabeth. It, it's all right, I'm fine. Poor I... love. I knew something was up the moment I saw you. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's all so silly. Would it help to talk? It's just... I, I've been an idiot. I, I've made a complete fool of myself and... Now I don't know what to do. So tell me, is it to do with the Tucker boy? How? How did you know? Oh, when I saw you together at the funeral, I put two and two together. Oh, oh no, was it really that obvious? Oh, no, don't worry. I, I don't suppose anyone else will have noticed, but after all those years with... Well, I've learnt to spot the signs. Oh, and I was trying so hard not to give it away. Besides, he seems a very charming, very good-looking young man. If I was in your shoes, I might well have been tempted myself. Yes. Well, the trouble is he's married. Ah. Well, that does tend to complicate matters. But it's more than just that. He is a lovely man, but, but he and I, well... You're his boss, yes. I was. Not any more. Now it's all such a mess. Oh, you poor thing. I know I should try and move on. Um, not that easy, is it? No. I hate myself for being so weak. Elizabeth, 
We all make mistakes. You can't live your life regretting them. Carol, you, you won't tell anyone, will you? Especially not Mum. Oh, my dear girl. I wouldn't dream. <sighs> your secret is quite safe with me. <laughs> anyway, it gets weirder. It was only after we'd been chatting for ten minutes I realised he thought I was someone else completely. <laughs> <laughs> thought you were who? Well, no idea. And he was also <laughs> under the impression that I'm down to be the best man at his nephew's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Which you aren't? No. I don't know any of these people. We've never met before. <laughs> and did you put him straight? <laughs> well, I was about to, but then I thought, hey, am I missing an opportunity here? <laughs> Maybe I can work this. How? <laughs> Well, at least I might have got an invite to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you chance. <laughs> oh, but then the hounds picked up a scent and he was off. <laughs> oh, nothing like that ever happens to me. Oh, right man, <sighs> right place, right time. <laughs> mm. OK, I'll drink to that. <laughs> so, you going to the hunt ball? Ah. Guess I'll show my face. Yeah. So, with friends or? <laughs> you mean, do I have a plus one? <laughs> do you? Well, <laughs> that sounds very <clears throat> mysterious. Charlie, the other day, <laughs> you said something like, oh, the best things are worth waiting for. Did I? Yeah. And y you didn't like to rush them. Just let them happen. What exactly did you mean? What did you think I meant? <laughs> I'm asking you. Adam, you already know the answer to that, don't you? It's all about timing with me. Look at these. New bee gloves. You were saying how your old ones were getting past it. Yes, they are. I hope these are OK. We check they're the right size and everything. They're perfect. Just what I would have chosen. Oh, good. So clever of you. Thank you, love. Mm. And Ruth. Well, I'm glad uh, you like them. Yes. Well, I have been dropping enough hints. I'm glad one of you picked them up. <laughs> well, now you're so ancient, we can't have you getting stung, can oh, we? David! Thank you, that's quite enough of that. It, no, though, you know, you'd never guess to look at you, Yeah, Mum. digging yourself a hole. Gosh, look at all these lovely things. You've been so kind. And there are still more to come, remember? Yes, I mustn't sit here all morning time I got busy. Why? Mum, whoa, 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 where are you going? To the kitchen. We've got all the family coming later. No, no, no. You don't have to cook anything. It's all been arranged. Fallon's doing the catering. Fallon, but... No, no buts. We didn't want you spending the whole of your birthday chained to the Arga. Oh. So we've all clubbed together and hired Fallon. A sort of extra joint birthday present. Oh, that is sweet of you. <laughs> Hello. Is that you, sweetheart? Hey. Hiya. How's things? You had a good day? Yeah, all right. Is Dad around? No, no, he was working all afternoon. OK. Why? Do you want to ask him something? You can always try giving him a call. No, I've got nothing to ask him. All right. I've got nothing to say to him at all. What? Nothing. Why do you keep asking me all these questions? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm going to ask you one more. Do you want some tea? No, thanks. Okay. I'm going up to my room. Uh, uh, Phoebe, hold on, love. What? What is it? What's the matter? Nothing. Yes, there is. Oh, come on. Can't you talk to us about it? Were your parents who might be able to help? <laughs> oh, no. No, I don't think so. What do you mean? Do you really want to know? Yeah. Yeah, I do. There you go, Mum. Oh! Yeah, oh, and uh, one for you, Ruth. A party hat. Goodness. Do we have to wear them? Oh, yes, compulsory, I'm afraid. But not everyone's here yet. We're still waiting for Sue and Elizabeth. So you can already be in party mood when they arrive. Here, come on, let me show you. It's all right, I can manage. There. 
How's that? <laughs> That's great. Oh, Bob, well, you look fantastic. <laughs> Very cheerful, Jill. <laughs> Not quite as jolly as Kenton's. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> well, it's colourful. Yes, and what's this? Uh. What? <laughs> Kenton! <laughs> Is that brilliant or what? Oh, not oh, again. A musical party hat. <laughs> and it lights up too! I know. Kenton, that <laughs> thing should be illegal. Yeah, OK, Dave, I know you're only jealous. No, 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 please, can you make it stop? <laughs> oh, God, OK, OK. Oh. David! Is everything all right in the kitchen? Mum, what did we say? Yes, relax, Mum. Fallon's here and, believe it or not, she is a top party organiser. She's got Ben and Josh running all over the place. Yes, I've been told. I think even you will be impressed, Mum. Anyway, Kenton, you're needed to help move the kitchen table. Am I? Yep, come on, all hands on deck. Oh, oh uh, do you want me to? No, no, love, we'll manage. Oh, OK. Yes, stay where you are, Ruth. Let them do the work. Yeah. Oh, I hope Eddie's OK with the cows. Well, he's done it often enough. I'm sure he's fine. Just try and relax. Oh, to be honest, I'm finding that quite hard. Well, after the week you've had, trying to sort out poor Heather. I know David's so keen on her coming to live down here somewhere. But it's just not going to happen. Well, I can't say I blame her for wanting to stay in Prada. Really? I'm sure I'd feel just the same. She'd be giving up her home and her independence. I honestly think it'd break her heart, Jill. Yes. Well, I'd find it very hard if ever I had to leave Ambridge. Yeah. Once you get to a certain age, the idea of having to up sticks and make a fresh start somewhere else can be very daunting. You're not that old. I do feel so sorry for Heather. I wish I knew the answer. So do I. Mum, you got some more guests arriving? Yes, coming. Yeah, oh, and stay in the hall. No peeping in the kitchen. Kenton, as if I would. Baby? What? I really am busy. Come on, love. We can't go on like this. Why are you so upset? Is it something I've done? No. No, it's not you. So what then? Whatever it is, I want to help. I think I haven't noticed what's been going on. How upset you've been. Well, we've all been a bit tired. That's uh... just not true, is it? I know. I know what's been going on with Dad and... and Elizabeth. Phoebe. How could he? How could he do that to you? To us? Lying and cheating and doing all that stuff. What kind of a dad is he? Love, sweetheart, I know it must hurt, but... Hurt? I'm just disgusted. He makes me feel sick. I thought Mum was bad enough. I never thought he'd do it too. Who told you? Freddie told me everything. Freddie. And I know it's all true because he knows. He saw them. Saw them? Look, love, it's really not what you're thinking. No? So what is it then? It, it only happened the once. Just a one-off. A what? Yeah. If... If you really want to know the truth... It was that weekend festival they went to, Greenbury Fields. They both had too much to drink and, and got carried away. And that was it. That's all, nothing else. You really believe that, don't you? Because that's what happened. Well, I'm sorry, but you don't know everything. What? Freddy's heard them talking. He's seen them together in the office. And at Locks Fest. He saw her crying and he saw a locket she sent to Dad. Locks Fest? It wasn't a one-off. It's way more than that. But... No, that's not right. Yes. It's been going on for months. Dad and Elizabeth, they've been having an affair. Dave! 
Yeah, OK. What are you out here for? You're missing all the fun. I'm just looking for Ruth. I think she popped out to see Eddie. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, Kenton. <laughs> someone needs to put that thing out of its misery. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, there we go. No, I tried it out in the pub last night. It went down a storm. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, they loved it. Even Charlie Thomas. Charlie? Yeah, yeah, he rolled up just before closing. Actually, he was on great form. Mm. Oh, here she comes. Ruth? Come in. Yeah, well, don't be too long, will you? We'll be starting the big countdown yeah, in a minute. I, I know. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. I just came out to find you. Oh, uh, I had to see Eddie before he left. Is everything OK, love? Look, I know this isn't the best time, but can we go inside and talk? So, what is it, love? Oh, I can't stop thinking about Mum. Worrying. Trying to work out what's best. Yeah, it's hard, I know. There is one option we haven't discussed yet. There is? I keep thinking about the farm... And what happens if this road gets built? Ruth. And now BL's new plans, a concrete trackway and a whopping great solar array. What's this place going to be like in a few years' time? Well, yeah, exactly. That's why we've got to keep on fighting. Oh, maybe. But I don't like to say this. We could be fighting a losing battle. Oh, come on, love. We've been through all this before. OK. But now there's Mum to think of as well. For me, that changes everything. And it's why I've thought about this other option. OK, well, let's hear it. We could sell Brookfield and move somewhere else. What? Why not? There's nothing to stop us. Ruth? If we sold up here, we'd get a decent price for the land, the way it's gone up in the last few years. Hey, 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 hey And if hey, we hey. went up north, we could buy ourselves a bigger place with money to spare and no road plan hanging over us. Sell up? <laughs> Ruth, you can't be serious. Yeah, I am. A fresh start, David. Think of the freedom. But we could do our own thing and farm the way we want to with none of this constant worry and hassle. But... Well, where? How, how far? Somewhere near Mum, so I could look after her. There's some great farming up there. You want us to sell up here and move to Northumbria? Well, why not? Other farmers do it. Some of them go abroad, like Canada. Yeah, I know they do, but... <laughs> Leave Brookfield? Leave Ambridge? Yeah. What, just, just walk away? And leave behind everything we've worked for and built up over all these years? Well, not everything. We could take the dairy herd and the Herefords. But... I'm saying... Look, we need to think about it. <laughs> but... What about the disruption for the kids? Well, they'd adapt. So would we. And Jill. Mum? Ruth, come on. She couldn't. Couldn't she? No, she couldn't. You know that. It would finish her off. It would break her heart. David, <sighs> nothing's going to be easy. Whatever happens, we're going to have to make some hard choices. <sighs> And I really think we need to consider this hey, as a... Hey, you two. Oh, um... What are you sitting in here for? Come on, quick. Fallon's bringing the cake in. Come on. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, Isn't that beautiful? Come on, Mum. Come on, Mum, you can do it. Go on. Right. Let me get my breath. A wish. Make a wish. There. I've made it. OK, then. Ready? Yeah. That's it, that's it. So, Ruth, yeah, keep going. you still want to do this to her? I can't see They're another really way, David. Happy birthday, Mum! Happy birthday! Happy birthday.